How important is prayer in your life? I want to talk to you about three keys to pleasing prayer. Matthew 6, 5 through 6 says this. It says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father will see what is done in secret and will reward you. Point number one, pleasing prayer is personal prayer. It's authentic prayer that is between you and your God. Let's get a little deeper on that. It is authentic prayer that is between you and your heavenly Father. You know, in a lot of places where we read the word Father, it's the word Abba means that it is our daddy. And I know it's hard to look at God that way sometimes, but that's the reality. So pleasing prayer is a personal prayer. Number two, pleasing prayer is not concerned with human perceptions. And that is huge. Regular private prayer will transform your public prayer and your public life. He said, be very, very careful that when you pray, you're not doing it to impress people, but you're more concerned on the relational aspect and the communication aspect of your God. Number three, pleasing prayer is powerful prayer. Here's what I've learned, and I believe this to be true when we see it through the Word and we see it through the lives of the folks in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. If we will honor God in authenticity, in private, God will honor us and show up on our behalf in public. And that's what he said he'd do. He said, if you will seek me privately and authentically, then I will promote you publicly. I believe that's incredibly important for us to remember. Listen, real problems require real solutions. And I want to encourage you in your prayer life. And I want to encourage you also to dig deep in God's word today.